The Utah Data Center is a building that the NSA has been constructing for a number of years to store the data that they're collecting. From what we can tell, this thing is enormous. It is over a million square feet, 100,000 of which are going to be data center storage facilities. The Snowden documents that came out last summer showed that the NSA is sucking up millions of phone records of Americans who aren't suspected of any crime. They're also vacuuming up the internet communications of people all over the world. And this is added to a trove of data we've been collecting over the years. Other whistleblowers who have come forward, people like Bill Binney, Thomas Drake, and Mark Klein, all of whom had said that the NSA is surveilling far more information than we, the public, were led to believe. They've built it. They intend to use it. They're trying to use it. They're having a difficult time using it. The Wall Street Journal reported last fall that they were experiencing meltdowns. We know they need a lot of water. It's this big eyesore in the desert in this small community that tells us, look, we are here and we are collecting information on you, whether you want us to or not. Okay, I can move you now. I think that's pretty good. Greenpeace, a big part of what we're doing when we do our protests, our direct actions, is to, is to bear witness bearing witness to the crimes that are going on or the things we need to change. The protest that we're, we're planning right now is to really draw attention to this exists. We are launching an airship over the NSA data center with a big banner. It's what's called a hot air airship. So it's, a, it's kind of a hybrid between a hot air balloon and a blimp. So it's going to Salt Lake City. It's going to be flying above the NSA data center uh, just south of Salt Lake City. We felt like this was a way to showcase the palpable realities of surveillance gone awry, of government that's just completely out of touch. Standagainstspying.org, isn't that right? Yep. This action has weeks of planning beforehand. We have to come up with the design, we have to build the banner, and then we have to physically drive the airship out to Utah. There's so many unknowns here. Uh, first of all, is the weather gonna cooperate? It's gonna be very cold. <laughs> it's, uh, it's going to be very early in the morning. Uh, it's going to be physically difficult. Load up, head on out. We really only have one chance to get this right. Unfortunately, Greenpeace has experienced firsthand the targeting by governments to try to stop our protest activity. The most extreme example was what happened with the first Rainbow Warrior, when it was tracked by the French government and bombed in New Zealand and cost the life of one of our photographers there. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this out. We're gonna pull this out and then pull it off to that side. It shows the extent that protest groups are often targeted by governments. Warrantless surveillance has been used to infiltrate dissidents, protesters, for years. Anti-war protesters, the people at antiwar.com found out that they've been under surveillance for many, many years. In other words, if you oppose the policies of the state, you could be a target, and who knows how they'll use that information. Now my honor to sign into law the USA Patriot Act of 2001. The Patriot Act was passed right after 9-11. America was shell-shocked. We passed it with almost no debate. And to this day, we're still coming to grips with how that fundamentally changed our democracy, how it gave the government brand new powers to engage in forms of surveillance that had never existed before. Now we're more than 10 years after the Patriot Act was signed into law. And today we have this enormous facility being created in Utah, shrouded in secrecy. It's become almost a symbol of everything that's wrong with what the NSA is doing. And it's off. It's government completely out of touch with what the American people want. We'll be ready to go here in just a couple minutes. Protesting by flying our airship over this facility is one small way we can help draw attention to this. If we don't fight for these rights, we can expect to lose them. And the politicians need to feel that this is a political liability. The president needs to hear this. Other world leaders need to hear this. We're never going to have another chance like this. Yeah, give it a yank. 
have everyone from the very far left to the very far right saying that this doesn't make any sense. We actually need to stop dragnet surveillance of our communications. It's bad for business. It's bad for civil liberties. When we think about the National Security Agency, we now know that they've spent years watching us, watching everything we do online, watching all of the telephone calls we make. And this action says, we're watching you too. We've got our eyes trained on you. If we want to live in a democracy, we ought to be able to know what our government is doing and have some say in it. This is a way of putting the Constitution back in the hands of the people and saying, we're going to fight for this. Privacy watchdogs took the skies over Bluffdale today. Activists called attention to a secret place. 100-year-old plus technology hovered above the new secretive NSA data center. A blimp with a large sign saying, illegal spying below. 